With all due respect, however, I, it, we, this, this, this bill may be well-intended, but the committee should be addressing the rising energy costs of today. According to the EIA, heating bills could increase as much as 54% this winter. And in the Build Back Better plan, Democrats wanted to add a tax on natural gas. The, the National, uh, the American Gas Association estimates that that would raise household energy costs by an additional 17% on top of it. So fortunately, this bill is dying in the Senate. Mr. Chairman, is your party tone deaf? The people across America are struggling. According to Help Advisor, last year, more than one in four Americans said they went without basic needs to pay their energy bill. Why isn't this energy, why isn't this committee considering ways to lower the cost of energy bills? But this bill fails to address that. And the White House relentlessly continues this, war, this wage of war on pipeline development. Just look at the environmental justice report on page 59. It specifically says it recommends no new pipelines in America. They already want to shut down the Atlantic Coast Pipeline, the Mountain Valley Pipeline, Line 5, we've already talked about those today, and all while supporting Russia's Nord Stream 2. Let's put this in perspective, Mr. Chairman. Last year, with a new president and your party in the majority, the committee held only 74 hearings and markups, most of which were to add more regulations. Contrast that with 2017 when President Trump's first year in office and when Republicans were in the majority, this committee held 106 hearings and markups. That's nearly 50% more. And our, and our focus was primarily on transparency and streamlining permittings and removing barriers for job creation. With that decrease in hearings, it's no wonder that the public doesn't trust Congress. And their polls will indicate we're headed in the wrong direction. It's two and three people say we're headed in the wrong direction. To rebuild that trust, and we should be working to reduce energy costs, not add to it. So Chairman Glick, the Natural, Gla the, the Natural Gas Act requires FERC to conduct a public interest review before a pipeline project can move forward. With a yes or no, do you believe it's in the public interest to have access to reliable and affordable supplies of natural gas? It's a yes or no. Yes. Thank you. But now FERC wants to redefine public interest to include climate change and the social cost of carbon, which will hinder pipeline development. Because of that, the pipeline restrictions, New England currently now imports its natural gas from countries like Russia because of pipeline restrictions. This, and we know the Russian gas is 40% dirtier that our American gas, can, can you just define to me why is this in our public interest to import gas from Russia rather than to use American gas? It's, it also is more affordable. Uh, thanks for the question, Mr. McKinley. I, you know, I, I, I wouldn't say I disagree with the premise of the question. The commission isn't forcing greenhouse gas emissions regulation on pipeline development or, or pipeline considerations. We're required to under both the law and by the courts. And what I, my point is, is that the courts have repeatedly told us over the last several years that if we don't engage in that type of analysis to determine what the impact of pipelines might, a proposed pipeline might be on greenhouse gas emissions and climate change, the courts send the cases back to us. And that's, that's the problem. We end up creating more uncertainty, more delay, and less gas production. If I could, Mr. Glick, do you think it sends a message of trust to the American people when they see a tanker coming from Russia to provide gas to New England, is that how we rebuild trust? We rely on foreign nations to bring this thing in? I think the, 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 the gas situation in New England is complicated, but in large part it's due to the fact that there isn't, hasn't been enough demand to bring in new pipeline development. But I, I want to point out, not that it's much better, but the, gas, the, gas, the natural gas that's supplied by LNG into New England is primarily from Africa and not from Russia. Chairman, I've run out of time, so I, I yield back. 